guys, we're back with more origami, part four. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna do the video from the top, but it was gonna just take too long, so we're doing it this way. Yeah. So I didn't um, mention the books that I've been using, so I wanna show them. This one is called Paper Crafts and Origami. It's an excellent book. Um, it's uh, an old book that I got at Half Price Books and it's been awesome. I've, I've used this for years some, from when I was teaching college and now um, elementary and middle school. It's an awesome book. So this next um, one that we're gonna make is the Cobra. And there's a couple variations to this, but we're gonna just jam it out super quick. Mm. The very first fold that you're making is that long fold along the kind of diagonal. So point to point, point to point fold. It's the very first one you're gonna make. Point to point. Yeah, try your best to line it up. Okay, once you've made the point to point fold, you are gonna then fold in this outside edge to your center crease. Okay, it's gonna end up looking kind of like an ice cream cone. It's gonna definitely look like an ice cream cone. Okay, outside edge, go do the other side. Same kind of deal outside edge to the center crease. Oh, so it really looks like an ice cream cone, okay? These two pieces have folded in. Next step, you're gonna take this outside edge, you're going to crease it in again. It's kind of unbelievable, because you're like, what? <laughs> Putting this thing in again, you're creasing it in again. Okay, next one, we're doing that again. Kind of unbelievable because it's just extreme. Okay, creasing that all the way in again. Like that? N yeah, so you want to go all the way down to your end. So look at this. Sometimes if it doesn't go all the way down, it makes it tricky. It's no big deal because it's paper. You haven't hurt anything. There's nothing's wrong with this. You can fix it. Boom. Okay, okay. so fix this side, you know, re reline that line up towards your middle. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. So once you do that, here's the, the crazy part. You're going to fold it in again. Can you believe I'm saying that? You're folding it in even another time. This time I'm going to kind of push with my finger and kind of pre-crease this super narrow one because it gets so extreme that you kind of can't believe it. It's like, whoa, it's extreme really smash this down as best you can okay same deal it's gonna look super narrow it's gonna look like the narrowest skinniest ice cream cone man this is like a nebbish tiny ice cream cone this is sad but it's gonna <laughs> look it is gonna look like this once you get to this place, this the nebbish ice cream cone place, you're gonna then, you're folding the whole thing in on itself. So just try to like jam those two things in, fold this whole entire thing. It's like pushing down, fold it in on itself all the way. It's like long like this. Ay, ay, ay. Looks like a, like a, like a shiv. <laughs> Anyhow, so once you get it to this place, this part is kind of tricky. So I was, I'm going to show you. I was struggling with this part. This part is definitely a struggle when you're first doing this. So I'm going to show you the method that I like that is the same as this flat one, okay? It's the same style as this flat one. It goes totally counter your brain. So I go in like about, don't you think about two inches. I'm just going into that green line right there. Oh yeah, yeah, you got a nice line on yours. Okay, you go into there, look here. I'm gonna bend this thing down like a flap, like that. It's gonna make a thing like, like a ring. Like I'm making a upside down L. So like an L's like that is like upside down. Okay, this go. diagonal. You have to kind of smash it down like a total fiend. Like smash it down. Then you're going to flip over and you're going to do the same thing, boom, on the other side. All I did was just go both ways with smashing this down. Smashed it down this way, smashed it down, smashed it down that way, smashed it down. Okay? Next step, I'm going to 
open this thing and I'm gonna just kind of like push this down flat like this. Look, I'm in, see where that V is? Do you see there's like a V right here? I'm jamming this V part down and then watch what I'm gonna do. I'm pushing this back. I'm just, I'm not worrying about what this Cobra's doing. I'm just pushing it back. And I'm gonna kind of squeeze. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. There it is. See, I'm kind of squeezing. So I'm pushing this and I'm kind of squeezing this backwards. See how I'm back folding it? So it was flat like this. I'm like back folding it like that. And I'm gonna kind of jam it, jam it down. See how I'm kind of flattening it like that? Got it? Okay, at that point, you're pretty close to a cobra. Like you've got cobra feelings on this. This feels like a cobra. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of start to push out its, yeah. Yeah. There you go, you got it. Mm -hmm. That's nice, okay. You can kind of start to give it a little zhuzh. Give it, start to get its side pieces done. But hey, let's not forget about the head. So all you do for the head is you bend it forward like this and you kind of crease it a little bit. So you want help with, you got your thing, you're yeah, doing I'm that? Yeah, I'm doing the side things. Okay, that's fine. Do the side things. Kind of doing my side things too, trying to give it a little zhuzh. But it's definitely Make got sure a Cobra vibe going. Okay, mm -hmm. once you get it there, you're kind of pretty darn close. Now let me show you how you can zhuzh this bottom part. I fold it to one side like that. Then I kind of fold it back. Mm, jam that down. Fold this part. And then this last little tail part. Kind of do mine zigzag. Kind of sticks up. Kind of like that. You're going to do, oh yeah. And then I'm going to show you Gia's method. Okay. Is that looking right? Does that look right? Yeah. That looks right. Yeah. That's all Cobra-ish. Gia, let me see yours. Let me kind of Let's get your head kind of down in. Oh, yeah, that's looking good, too. So Gia's version, there, I've kind of pushed him yeah. so he's kind of up. Gia's version, she left hers pinched. Do you see how she left it pinched? And then just folded this, this style. So these are two different styles for this, the same type of snake. You could also add some eyes. Put some eyes on oh, your yeah. guy. My mine probably needs some. Oh, it's oh we it's have white. to use here. white. Oh, oh silver. Yes, thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna put some eyes on there. Does the silver even show? No, this isn't a paint pen. It doesn't show. I'd have to use like some white out or something to stick some eyes on this one, but it works out and it looks kind of cool because you could do like a oh this is a, a paint pen a landscape. I know, but that one's will that what you think it'll work. Maybe. I tried to use one of these the other day. Let's see if it, let's just try to jam it in there. What? I don't think it will. No. It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> this is paint. I think it might be totally dry. Yeah, so no worries. But you get my drift. You could add eyes with, with white out. You've got eyes on yours it's looking good. Let me see. Your, oh yeah, you're kind of zhuzhing his, his, his cowl. Very nice. And you've got these, you know, that are kind of around it. Ooh, this is like Indiana Jones' worst nightmare, <laughs> isn't it? So, enjoy your Cobra. Cobra power. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Bye.